think 70 is maybe a little higher, maybe a little less depending on personal preference, but 70 feels good for me right now. And we're just getting it though. Dang, yup. Cause I've been sipping on Henny I got the study of my vision And she ain't from the city And she ain't foreign And she boring Love the way you twerk it shawty Throwing money on her own I call it independent shawty What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsport 7 Staring down that beautiful M4 drift build I have So we're here today to do something else We're here to test this versus that here on Forza Motorsport 7. And by this versus that, I mean my 350 millimeter energy innovations wheel versus the stock Logitech G920 wheel. So I do have two quick releases on the back. Thank you to AM Studios. So I will be able to switch these wheels really quickly. So basically I want to see if the factory wheel size needs to have some settings changes done because of the smaller rim and Will the settings that I use for my 350 millimeter wheel work on the small one, or is it harder to drift on the smaller wheel than it is the bigger wheel? Uh, I do know that one of my teammates at Recall 24 was having some trouble drifting and then got a bigger rim, and now he's able to drift a lot better. I'm actually trying to use my mouse for my computer <laughs> instead of actually this. So before we get into it, let's take a look at our settings. We'll have to back out. And take a look at the settings here for the wheel. So for settings for this wheel, wheel options. So we have everything set 0, 95, 10, 95, deceleration 15, 95. That's personal preference on all of that. Uh, and then we have force feedback. We have vibration scale at 0, force feedback at 100. We're going to kick uh, wheel rotation. Oh, I guess we'll leave it at 900. I think it's locked now. I hit the wrong button. So, and then we're running string linearity at 55. Force feedback. Minimum damping scale at zero. This one and the force feedback scale are probably the two that we're really going to have to look into. So, we're going to uh, hop into that race. M4 Prague 350 millimeter energy innovations wheel. We're gonna send it and see how it does. I am kind of excited to be using that smaller wheel though to give it a shot. May use that for racing instead of this bigger rim. I think we went too early. Maybe not. I mean, we did go a little bit too early, but we'll make something out of it. This M4 does rip though. Uh, it started gliding on me. Uh, apparently, I cannot, you know, save myself from hitting walls right now, so. Send us uphill. I was not sure if I was going to make that or not. I have a feeling I'm going to have a, a real tough time with that. Factory Logitech wheel. The size may get me. Because this wheel throws so much nicer. And I think the extra weight helps throwing. So we may have to adjust feedback and settings for the smaller Factory Logitech wheel. Which will be nice to see what settings are required. Why do we not get points to that section? What wheel settings we might need to use for an unmodified wheel here in Forza 7. I'm used to that alpha. This BMW is throwing me for a little bit of a loop, but we're still good. We got it. We're good. Too wide. Nope. Normally I go way too wide there and I go past. I lose all the points like that. I haven't drifted this M4 in forever, but it is nice to get back behind the the wheel of this M4. Gonna be doing a new drift build here soon, so haven't decided what car I want to do a drift build on. 
That was some major angle. There we go. A little curb check. Very long e-brake grab, make that. Nope. I thought I could get slick with it and make that, but I could not. So we're gonna throw it in that first turn one more time. So, I mean, 37,000 on a pretty crappy run. So still kind of respectable, but we're gonna be switching the other wheel and I'd be very surprised if we get more points with the smaller rim. That's how I want to enter that turn. So much better. Yup. Alright, so we're going to restart this so we don't have a wrecked car anymore. And we're going to switch rims. Quick flick of my quick release. Smaller wheel on. Oh god, this feels weird. Oh boy. Alright. Smaller wheel. BMW. Yeah, this is not going to throw. This is not going to go very well. Oh boy. We're probably going to do some serious adjustment changing. Oh, it feels so weird. Oh boy, this is gonna be weird. All right, screw it, we're gonna send it. Oh my gosh. It feels so different. It does not float free at all like my NRG wheel does. We're definitely gonna have to probably end up changing some wheel settings around to get this to feel somewhat nicer. Yep, <laughs> so I can tell you guys for sure, uh, drifting with a bigger rim is actually a whole lot easier. Um, is it because I'm not used to this? Maybe, I bet you if I got used to it, I could probably get better with it, but this does feel so weird. It does not throw as easy as my other wheels do. My energy innovations wheel does. Like if you know, if you watched my hand movement with my other wheel, I can literally just go and, yep, see, right there. Does not want to go how I want it. But I can just throw it. And it goes a lot easier than this wheel does for sure. I mean, we're not doing too, too bad though. Definitely more force feedback feel. In the smaller, lighter wheel. And I, like I said, I'd be really surprised if we got higher than our other run, but yeah, see, it doesn't snap as much as I want it to. This is definitely different though. I started off drifting on this wheel though in Horizon 3, and uh, once I got the energy, I never went back, but. It's definitely a lot of fun. So I can definitely see why people that don't have a bigger rim have been commenting me and asking me for wheel settings because this is not easy by any means. And I see a lot of people commenting that Ah, Forza 7, you know, drifting sucks, you know, it's it's hard to do, you know, it's it's shit, but it might just be a settings thing. So, can we adjust our settings here? I think we can. Alright, so let's go into this. I believe it has to do something with the force feedback scale. Let's try knocking it down to 70 and see if that makes any bit of a difference we do still want to keep the wheel dampening at zero because that's how much feel it has when it's rotating back and forth it's how much force is against the wheel so at zero the wheel will spin easier than up there so we're gonna drop the force feedback scale down to 70. see how this feels okay so this feels a little bit lighter but i don't think it's gonna spin as easy though because the feedback scale is low
Okay, so that's not that's not bad. That's actually a little bit better. It feels a little bit more comfortable because it, it spins a little easier, so that might be the ticket. There we go. So 70 feels a lot better. Feels so much different. But it feels good though. So I think 70 is maybe a little higher, maybe a little less depending on personal preference, but 70 feels good for me right now. And we're just getting it though. Dang, yup. What? No! <laughs> oh, we didn't lose those points? Okay. But I think 70 is the way to go if you're running a stock Logitech wheel. Get your uh, wheel damping skill down to zero. Put your wheel settings at 70 or a little higher personal preference but I think 70 is a good a good feel you still got a lot of good feel and um, yeah so I'm having a little fun with the smaller rim will I be using the small rim no I'll be sticking with my energy innovations wheel will I use a small rim for racing uh, I feel like this would be maybe a lot nicer in a racing standpoint for doing circuit racing. So I may use this wheel when I'm circuit racing because the wheel feels a lot nicer in my hands and not in the wall. <laughs> it feels a lot nicer in my hands for racing purposes. So we'll probably end up leaving, uh, I'll probably end up using this wheel for racing unless I get another Energy Innovations wheel um, of a different style, like a leather wrap or a race style wheel. Like, we're gonna just finish this run off and have a little bit of fun with this stock wheel. There's a huge difference in size and a huge difference in weight, but I gotta remember to turn my force feedback up, though. That's way too fast. Maybe not. Um, I don't know how we saved that. So let's see what 70 feels like with a bigger rim, we're gonna do a quick wheel change, mid run. Probably definitely not gonna like this feel. Oh yeah, that feels too light. With the bigger rim, 100 is the way to go because of the simple fact of the extra weight on the wheel. It needs that extra force to throw the rim around. Now, if I could switch wheels mid-drift, now that'd be sweet. I wasn't mid-drift, but... Back to the little wheel to finish this session off. So, I think, I think that is the ticket. If you guys are using a factory Logitech wheel and a size, and you're having some issues, put your force feedback to 70 or around there centering wheel dampening strength at zero turn off your vibration scale and give it a shot see what you guys think see how it feels and also the car setup makes a big difference as well so download the alpha tune that i have the alpha romeo tune give that car a shot as well because that car feels really nice on a wheel so if you want to like judge your characteristics and maybe you're not good at tuning Throw that Alfa Romeo tune on. If you don't have the Alfa Romeo, um, well, um, I'm going to throw up maybe another tune for another car. Maybe that S13 tune. Those feel really nice on a wheel. I'm actually having a little bit of fun with this little wheel. Ah, see right there. I couldn't throw it back fast enough. 
So I think that's going to do it here for this episode here on Forza Motorsports 7. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode a little bit different. Doing, you know, this versus that. 350 millimeter wheel versus the factory Logitech wheel. There's a huge difference. So, until next time, guys, you know you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, all of which are found in the description box below. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching. So, until next time, I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'm out. I'm loving, I'm